All right, so Missy's getting ready for the uh, Fitness Olympia. She's the Arnold Classic Champion. We're gonna go through just some poses here. Uh, fitness is a little different. It's mostly, mostly quarter turns. So that's the primary focus. So with uh, fitness, they're looking for general conditioning, how lean she is, but they're also looking for structure. This is where Missy knocks them out. So let's go through uh, your quarter turn. So let's do a front relaxed. All right, that's really hard to beat there. So now we're going to the side. Let me, uh, let me look right here. So Missy's made great improvements in her hamstrings. She's got a nice little bow now on the back of her hamstring. Um, the one thing I would say, Missy, is that back lat, this one, try to just open it up a little bit more. Okay, one more quarter turn. Okay, nice and wide. She's got the skin kind of stretched out on her hands and glutes there real nice. Okay, pop that back lat. There, there. So, so this side you can really see this lat is expanded and she's got a nice V taper right here. Everything's, everything's tied in really nice. So let's go back to the front again. So little things that we do sometimes is like if you want to show more separation in your, in your quads, you got to be careful in this. So Missy's not trying to look like bodybuilding Olympia. She's trying to look like fitness Olympia. But what you can do is sit your hips back just a little and kind of like try to screw your feet into the ground, but rotate your knees out. And that'll bring in hip, uh, the rectus femoris split and things like that. Um, so relax, relax your legs. Now sit your hips back a little and rotate, try to rotate your knees out. There, did you feel that come in right there? Yeah. So relax. Now do it again. So the more you practice this, Missy's about four weeks out right now. The more you practice this, the deeper these lines will get. But again, for Missy's class, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna look absolutely separated like a bodybuilder. So let's go to the other side variation that you do. Kind of the more, what you call it, the girly version. <laughs> so this right here, this is one of Missy's strongest poses. You can see the hamstrings hanging down real nice. Uh, got a real nice clean line in right here. I always like this separation right here. And she's got the lat popped out, so she's showing maximum V taper. I would compare the posing very similar to figure. You want to create that really nice structure, the nice taper coming down right there. And one more from the other side. Good right there. Notice she's not clamping down on her quad flexing. She's just got the leg popped up. Now you can see the shape right here. The bottom of her vastus lateralis is really impressive. It's popped out, it's not flat. That's really impressive right here. Right there, that's real nice. Good separation. Right there. That's it, I don't have a lot of uh, more critiquing than that. She's obviously done this before. This isn't your first contest. So with Missy, it's just presenting that beautiful shape. Um, she's almost contest ready now. Her upper body really is contest ready. Uh, really what I would say, she just needs a little bit of food to fill out her upper body, but her legs are, are super close. So four weeks out, she's where she needs to be. That's kind of how the posing works. Um, again, not a lot to correct there. She knows what she's doing. She's really good at it. But that's what a potential fitness Olympia winner looks like right there. Yeah, let's go through the mandatories first. So just overall check on conditioning right now. Let's just do front, let's just do your quarter turns first. Just like you're on, just like when you go to walk out on stage, get your socks off. <laughs> Someone um, hopped there. on stage at the Arnold one year with the socks off. Oh, yeah. Okay, quarter, oh, yeah. All right, quarter turn. Oh, look at that. Look at that upper body. Look at that upper body taper. Quarter turn. Do that again, wind back up into that again. Start that one over. Yeah. Watch the back, watch the back. Quarter turn. Perfect, 
front double by. Good. Strike that chest. Pull it up. Boom. Front last breath. Sit on it. There you go. Get the hip flexors in. Elbows out wide. Chest up. Chest up. Slide chest. Yeah, just just don't crunch, crunch in. You're kind of going like that. Just keep your chest up. Boom. Nice and wide. Side chest. Just pull back just a little more. This is already in my... Yeah, put it, smack it right against your stomach. It's already touching. Now, pick chest. Up. Boom. Okay, you got a chest pump. Okay, let's go side tricep. I know it's a little out of order, but... Got the grain going in his legs. That lower back's going to be crispy. Nice. Rear double. Clamp down that leg, show distractions. Oh, Boom. It's not there yet. Okay, all you right. See, he, It'll be there though. Yeah, he holds his water mid thigh to release. Yeah, there we go. Boom, right there. Rear lat spread. Oh yeah. Boom. Okay, abs and thigh. Right there, right there, yeah. Okay, relax. Say what? Relax. All right, now. First of all, those of you guys listening, Terrence is a million times better teaching posing than I am. And if you guys are looking for a coach, I would actually, actually tell you to call Terrence. Now, having said that, I'm just going to throw a couple things out at you. You can trash it. You can ignore me because you're better at this than I am. But there's a couple little teeny tiny things that I saw that like when you're standing this way on your quarter turns, if you turn your foot this way a little more, you can, and yeah, you can actually get a little more hamstring. The upper body is set in perfect. I mean, you look straight V-shape. But I think just instead of here, I think if you were just here, I think you'd get a little more bow to your hamstring. Okay. Does that make sense? No, yeah, that makes sense. It's a, it's an angle. Yeah, it's just a slight from here to here, that's all. And then just drag it in so your hamstring is, your adductors are pushing together. The only reason... I mean, yeah, we can, yeah, can do it, yeah. I'm just curious how it looks. No, it definitely looks better from this angle. But the reason I think about it is the head judge doesn't, the head judge doesn't even mark you. The judges on the end are the ones that actually score you. So from that angle, it doesn't change anything. And you know what I mean? That's a good point. Yeah. These guys here can't see. <laughs> I would think if it's an advantage, it would be but these. No, 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 no. I, I get what you're saying, yeah. So. I don't have great range of motion though. You tie it across there. Yeah, this is That's my cool. biggest problem is it's you got to rotate more. Okay. I just wanted to, this, to that one there. The okay. side chest looks perfect. Maybe one more thing. Maybe I can like bring it. Just push this in together there. right there and get that to push out. So I could maybe I don't know, turn that if that works. Just a little. Just a little. I would rather, I like the drag just because it squashes the adductor out. Yeah, that's what I, yeah. Like my legs are already, I don't have to drag my foot. My thighs are yeah. going to be touching. Yeah. So. Yeah. If I just, okay. You see, you got some good bow there. Yeah. And the only, the only other thing is, again, man, I'm nitpicking. You're better at this than me. Just an idea. When you're in your rear double, if you can just go from here to here, you'll get more. Oh, exactly. Is that shoulder flexibility a little tight? It's the same thing as when we're training chest. I can, this is for us, 
back as I can bring my chest. I gotcha. So it's not so intentional. It's just, You're just at your limited range. Can, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. I mean, I've been stretching and trying to increase my range of motion. It's just, yeah. Okay. Especially right now, we just <laughs> change chest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your your chest and shoulders are super full right now. And then on the light spread, man, I would just be careful that this doesn't start drifting in. Okay. And just so you're staying big, like Vince Taylor used to always have his elbows out and up. Yeah. That's all. I mean, like I said, you're better at this than me. Just a couple of things to remember. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I think when guys start to fold like this, it just detail, it just lose detail. You lose shape. Yeah, it looks awkward. You don't look like a professional. So yeah, just a couple things there. I mean, so for you guys watching, Terrence is probably the best poser. I'd, you'd be hard pressed to find somebody that's a better poser than him. Um, but sometimes um, I still like to just throw ideas out at people, and then you can you know take them or leave them, but. I think for 30 days out, man, you're right on the money where you should be. Okay. So, all right, you better guys better be watching the Olympia. <laughs> Make sure you go to Rough Diesel and support this guy. He's gonna be ready. Good. Up on that hamstring. Okay, front double. There, that's real nice right there. Front last spread. All right, now my opinion is you can be wider on that pose. One thing you're doing is you're like this. Mm -hmm. I want you to just try something for me. Okay. Just take your legs straight out and pick your shoulders. So keep your shoulders straight out. And now pop your legs. Yeah. See, see how much wider he looks. Yeah. So you were, you see the difference. So you were kind of like this. You were bunching yourself in. If you keep your elbows out and you just pick your shoulders up and do the same thing, you you just want it got wider, two or three inches wider. That right there, that's what you want. What you don't want is don't let yourself do that. Okay, that's stay right. out here and keep your shoulders up. Boom. That's how Vince Taylor used to hit it. Much better. Now do your side chest. Drag it in there. All right, let me show you another little trick on that. So here's what you're doing. Okay? Now watch what happens to my chest. Watch this. Watch, watch. Watch what happens to my chest. Okay, you're making yourself smaller by grabbing here. Yeah. Come in here. Okay. And pick your chest up like Arnold. Remember how Arnold used to yeah. pick that chest up? When, you, when you're in here, you're squeezing yourself down. Okay. Come out here and lift that rib cage. Okay, make yourself, show, show all that bubbly muscle you got. Don't make yourself small. There you go. Now drop it down just a little. Pull it back into your body and lift your chest. Boom! Look at that. Look at the thickness now. Stay in there. I want to show you a picture. <laughs> okay. Now go back and do it the way you were doing it. Okay, I'll show you the difference later. Massive difference. Good. Massive. Like you went from a little shapely guy yeah. to a big shapely guy. A little shapely All right. guy. All right. All right. Side tricep. Nice. That's good there. Nice. Lace is tucked in. Nice. Rear double line. I want you to do one thing. I want you to do this with your arms. I want you to go back. Don't punch. I just want you to do it. Okay? Watch, watch it right here. Watch what happens. 
I'll go back. See the difference right here? Okay, relax. Let's do that again. When you can go from here to here, yeah. all this strikes. Right? It strikes. It just goes. So start sitting there here, go, go like boom, then I want you to go like this. So normal, now back. Boom. All this knots up and strikes right here. You should be able to get back further though. You're way tight. Oh, you're real tight. Come back further. Come back further. Slow down a little bit. No, come back further. See all the see all the feathering one to come out? He's just real tight in the shoulders. Yeah. But you do your back just just one. That's due to not stretching it. Yeah. Okay, last breath. breath. Good, I like that. Just be real careful again with your arms. Be careful they don't start doing this. Okay. Dig them in on your side and get your lats wide, okay? okay. So you just dig your knuckles in right there. Dig them in. Now dig your knuckles into your... There, there. Now sit up straight. Now pull those lats. Now if you're doing it right, sometimes it feels a little more. Look, look. You see what happened? When you dig your knuckles in, man, these release. Yeah, when you say dig your knuckles in. So That's dig your good. knuckles in really hard and then go wide. Okay. But don't 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 do this. Stay wide with your elbows and keep expanding. If you're doing it right, it'll feel a little uncomfortable through here. Okay. That's because you're tight. Okay, do that again. There, now dig those knuckles in. Dig them in, dig them in. There, chest up. Boom, there. Don't let your elbows come too far forward. Good. Good. Okay. Abs and thigh. Now, you've got awesome serratus. If you want to show it better, you've got to point your elbows up. When you do this, you kind of hide them. If you can get your hands down here and get your elbows up, it'll make your lats come out and your serratus will pop better. You'll get more V-shape. Elbows up, drop those hands down, elbows up. This way. Now let your air out. But be careful not to do this, okay? Stay up, air out. Let your air out. Yeah. Now there you go. Air. Stay up. Elbows up. Elbows up. Shoulders are tight. You need to like that. Yeah. Shoulders are tight. Nice, okay. Here, do me a favor, just stick a leg out and flex it. Just clamp down on it. No, no, clamp down on it. Lock it, there you go, let me see the other one. Okay, good, good. Whew. Look good. If you have more flexibility in your shoulders, you can, you, your poses can 